But our next question up, this came this came from a listener's question. It was come from David from have a guess. Oh, is it Suffolk? It is it Suffolk, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ipswich. From Ipswich. Oh, That's right, David what from a Ipswich. Guess. It was. <laughs> <laughs> and his question is, is Warren Gatlin a super coach? And we're gonna dissect it today. <clears throat> First up, do you think Warren Gatlin is a super coach, Topes? Oh, I mean he's had a a great coaching career. He's been he's been around a long time. He's yeah, been yeah. to very he's been to a lot of different places in the world, but also different countries because well, he's done Ireland, he's done Wales. Has he had a stint at Scotland? I don't think he's no, done I don't Scotland. Think so. No. Um but then you know he's done wasps, he's British and Irish Lions. That's right. Chiefs. Yeah. He's been yeah, played he's, for the he, Chiefs. He's, he's done it all, hasn't he, really? I think this comes from... He's an OBE. Did you know that? I didn't know he's an OBE. You've been doing some Uh, research, haven't you? I'm feeling very unwell. (laughs) I think this comes from the fact that I I said that the Warren Gatlin effect will come in in three to four weeks. And what I meant by that is he's a new coach. He's got new systems. So therefore, those systems are going to take a little bit of time to bed in. But what he's done is he's... He's been able to attract top players to the club. Uh, you know, example of that is Aaron Cruden. That probably wouldn't have come back to the Chiefs had he not been there. But what he's massively done is he's stopped lots of players from leaving the club. They yeah. maybe stuck around for an extra year or two. Do you know how I think he's done that? He's paid them <laughs> out of his own back pocket. <laughs> he probably earns a lot of money. But I was watching a video on, on the Facebook and um, it was Aaron Cruden, and Aaron Cruden make a, made a very good point about um, Warren Gatlin. You know, Warren Gatlin spent, was it 11 or 12 um, games for the All Blacks on the bench, non-internationals. Yeah, 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 yeah. Never played. Never played. Never played a test match. No, and he, he, he sort of reiterated that into the Chiefs, and it's almost brought it back around. You know, if you're on the fringes... It doesn't mean you're left out. Yeah, so he's proper you know, team, you, proper yeah, team man. Yeah, proper team man. You know, he went through that hardship, but now look where he is. Absolutely, yeah. One of the most successful coaches, yeah. arguably, as we're going to talk about, a super coach. But he's seen it all before. So he's coming in, he's seen it all before, and he's going to be able to fix things almost before they happen. Well, hopefully. So, you know, you talk about, you know, club environment. And team environment, you know, yeah. If he sees little problems emerging, he's gonna been there, done that. Been there, done that. I've seen this before. Yeah. We'll, we'll sort that out before it gets. And he, do you know what he's really good at? He's really good at creating a good team around him as yeah. well. Really good. He knows how to win tight matches. You look at Wales. Oh, how yeah. many tight matches have they won? Arguably not their semi final uh, in the World Cup, but we won't talk about that one. But you know, he's done an amazing job with Wales. Yeah. Well, he's done an amazing job with Ireland before Six that. Six Nations. Last year, <clears throat> he only he won a couple of games by a couple of points. Oh yeah, France. He was yeah. sixteen England. nil down at half time. Yeah, and he, oh. and he and he gets them to come back after a half time speech. What do you say? You, you're sixteen yeah. points down. <laughs> come on, fellas. You need to get Pull your finger. You need to get your finger out. <laughs> uh, we're just going to look at in a little bit more detail that point I made, which is how he's managed to attract or keep players. So these are the numbers for ins and outs in the in the squad for over the over the off season. So we can see Chiefs, sixteen players left. Yeah, but sixteen players are God, you've even got the mouse on there, the cursor. The cursor, mate. Far yeah. out. It's a t- That's modern, good, eh? modern technology oh, is absolutely how did you do that? I don't know. I don't <laughs> know. Next up though, we look at the Crusaders. So Crusaders top. Top, you know, one at yeah. three peak. 12 out, 8 in. So they're actually down on their squad. So, yeah. you know, you look at another top squad, you would imagine a lot of players would want to be part of that squad. They lose 12, can only get 8 in. Then it's the Bulls next. We're now, looking at South Africa. 29 players left, only 17 come back. How in. many do they have in a squad? Yeah, there's, there's, there's like a wider squad as well. So this is the whole squad. They have loads, mate. They have like 30 in a, in a, in a, in a squad, but then they have a wider squad as well. That they don't pay very much. So they have like B teams and stuff like that, or, you know, Bulls A. 
Yeah, they have like basically they have a full and then like a academy. Yeah, well, they, they basically something? try and bring players up through, right? And they can pay them not, Pittance. yeah, like like I, I think it was fifty thousand New Zealand dollars just to be part of the wider training squad. That's a lot of money. I would take it, hands down, mate. <laughs> lines are up next. Look at the lines. So they're yeah. twenty five out and thirteen in, so they're down. Uh, and then we've got the Reds at 16 out and 13 in, which actually they recruited quite heavily. Yeah, they did okay. But you're looking, now, that, <laughs> now you're this next one is just ridiculous. <laughs> That's why I asked the question. Are you ready for this? Who has... Here we go. This who, is the Sunwolves. Who has 67 <laughs> people on their books? <laughs> Probably Saracen. 67 ple- people, right, leaving 37 players contracted to be what? part of their squad. It's absolutely amazing, isn't it? That's ridiculous. It is. But you can see there, they're the only team out of all of those that have managed to basically get back to to eat par. Yeah. You know, and some of those names coming in are fantastic players. I mean, yeah, you're, you're always going to have a natural uh, loss of players with, well, with retirement, retirement and, and injury. injury. Oh, oh, my oh. God. Personal jinx. Golden jinx. <laughs> <laughs> So that's his effect that he's having already, yeah. even before he's arrived. But you can look at his history. I know, this is This is pretty isn't amazing, it? isn't it? So you look at the teams that he's, he's, he's coached. So we're going back to Ireland. He coached Connick before he got the full Ireland job. And he was very successful with Ireland. And then he got binned off. He got binned off Ireland. Was that after the World Cup? Oh, mate, no. I'm, I'm, I, can't, I don't actually know. Because you look at the World Cup. That World Cup happened in 2003, didn't it? 2003 no. World uh, Cup. So he was Ireland was between 1998 and 2001. He did a great job, got binned off. And then he went to Wasps, where he was absolutely fantastic. Came back home, took his Waikato team. And we're going to go through his actual um, sort of representative stuff and, and trophies that he's won. Uh, then he took over as the Chiefs t- t- Technical Director or Advisor. Moves to Wales. And we all know about the history of Wales. But one thing that we didn't know a lot about is maybe that he was assistant coach uh, with the British and Irish Lions, and then he took over. So yeah. he's been part of the British and Irish Lions he's been for in three tours. Again, yeah. Plus he's going to go for another one, isn't he? Yeah. Let's look at what he's won, though. And this is really impressive. So what has he won? As Wasps coach, three premiership titles, one Heineken Cup. Now, to win a Heineken Cup when he did as an English team was almost unheard of. You know, unbelievable. Waikato, we went back to Waikato, one MPC title with Waikato again. That's not bad, though. That's pretty you know, damn you got good. Auckland were pretty good back then. Wellington were good. Poverty Crusaders, Bay, Poverty Bay Crusader weren't Canary. good. <laughs> Poverty Bay weren't good. Buller were amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Class. Wales, six nations. He's won it four times. Yeah. The Grand Slam three times and the Triple Crown three times. And this is probably his biggest feather in his cap. Yeah. Maybe why he wasn't so popular with New Zealand public, but to take the Australians to a winning series and then to take them to a, a sh- drawing yeah. or a share, a share of the series yeah. with New Zealand in New Zealand is absolutely amazing. He's he's a pretty amazing coach, isn't he? He is. And I think when we talk about super coaches, you talk about a coach that goes anywhere and, and brings and success. success. Yeah. Or now you think about what he, where he took Wales from literally embarrassment, Fiji beat them in the World Cup, yeah, to a World Cup semi final that they lost with the last kick of the game to the eventual champions. Mm. That's pretty impressive, eh? So is he a super coach? I'm going to say, I'm going to say yes. Hell yeah! Yeah, absolutely. I'm really intrigued to see how he does with the Chiefs. Um, yeah, will I mean, it, he's got will off it to a take good start. A season? No. No, I don't think it will. The, well, se- the if, Super if Rugby look, seasons are long, this, aren't they? They're long. We're going to go through the Super Rugby um, Super mm. Rugby game soon. And ha- the halftime score between the Blues and the Chiefs says a lot, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Yeah, I mean, again, it's a bit like France. You're 16 points down to France. Yeah. And, he, and he, whatever he does, 
his his his, uh, his subs that he brings on. Yeah, you know, work everything works for him. He's been there, done that. But let's look at some other examples of super coaches. This is my this is my take on it. You might think I'm wrong, but you've got to give Razzie. You've got to say Razzie's super coach, don't you? Can, can I can I just say though? I'm just looking on the the Wikipedia. <laughs> Where all good information is found. <laughs> he's, just never, he's never been in the All Blacks. He's never been in the All never Blacks. Never been in the All Blacks. But very few coaches have beaten the All Blacks. He's never been in the All Blacks with Wales. Exactly. With Wales. No one's ever beaten the All Blacks. But I think Wales has won once in the history of their whole world, world of rugby. So, okay. you know, not many have won, and not many have beaten the All Blacks, really. It's interesting, though, isn't it? How many coaches have beaten the All Blacks? You'd say English coaches yeah. have beaten the All Blacks. Uh, the Irish coaches Irish now coach. have beaten the All Blacks. South Africa, obviously, have Australia. beaten the All Blacks. Australia. But you look at the teams that really have struggled, and it's the rest of the world. Yeah. France, obviously, they, they've got a good history. Yeah, they us. do, yeah. And important games. <laughs> really important games. Bastards. Anyway, uh, we're going back. Yeah, Razzie. Razzie, Razzie you've got to put Razzie in there, don't you? Definitely. Everywhere he goes, he brings success. He may, He's a subtle change. Where is he now? He's still with the... We, he? we mentioned this last week, man. Are you sure he is? He is, yeah. He's still sure? the director of South African Rugby and he's still going to be there on match day and he's basically become the manager of... I'm not like going to lie, that's manager. not a great picture of him, is I it? think it's a great... Look at him. He's looking he smells thoughtful. He funky, yeah, isn't he? <laughs> Oof, Damien. Hey, the biggest one for me, I know this is, you know, I'm a Crusaders man through and through, Wayne, Wayne Smith. Smith. Everywhere he goes... He brings success. Even Northampton Saints, when he came to English rugby, were absolutely Fire. in a in a shocking state. And although he didn't win the premiership, yeah, what he, he bought them back. He bought them back from the brink and laid the foundations. And then he went. You know, he's won with the Crusaders. Yeah, he's, he's won, won with, with the All Blacks. Blacks. He's won. He hasn't obviously won with. Um, Northampton Saints, but he, but he got was them. It, was he in Wales? Was he at Wales? Not at Wales, no. That was, yeah, was he? Graham Henry and uh, Steve Hansen. Right. But then he, now he's in Japan. And guess what's happening with his team in Japan? Doing amazing things. Are they? Doing amazing. Now, this is an interesting one, and you might not agree with me on this. And it hurts me to probably put it, but you've got to say Eddie Jones. Steady Eddie. Steady Eddie. He did well with uh, Australia. Did well with Australia. Did, did well really with South well Africa. With Won a World Cup with South Africa. Was he with yeah. South Africa? Yeah, he was with South Africa. Assistant coach was with South Africa. 2007. 2007, yeah. Oh, yeah. At Japan, did Japan well. Japan, bet them. And, you know, bet obviously South Africa. Yeah. Uh, first time and probably, you know, first time that's happened. And then England. And then he's doing a great job with England. Yeah. Although I do think he's kind of the Mourinho of rugby, which is short-lived you can deal with them in short yeah. spaces, uh, short times, but not over a long period of time. Now, you ready for the next one? Scotty Robinson, mate. I think he is a super coach. He's early days. Now. Very early days into his I do agree career. with you. Can we say he's a super coach? Because. Not yet. He hasn't gone overseas. But I don't want him to go overseas. No, but you can't. do. He's only coached one team. No, he would. Yeah, okay. So he's coached the crew. He's coached Canterbury NPC. Yeah. Took them to the NPC title for, I think, two or three years in a row. Okay. He then took over the Crusaders when they hadn't won anything for nine years, and he's won three in a row. He has done his only blemish on his career is, is his, the under 20s, wasn't it? The under 20s, yeah. where, he, where arguably, and that's a little bit different, isn't it? Because that's, is you're only coaching them for a short like, amount of yeah, time. Yeah, true, true. You're not, you're not developing those players. If he can pull off a four peat, which I think will be just I don't know how he will do it this year, but if he can do it, that is him in the he's a super coach for me. The last one, and this is a massive shout. Massive shout. It's gotta be Dave Rennie. Dave Rennie has been successful, or people might argue that he's gone to the Glasgow Warriors. Stephen Hansen? No, not Steve Hansen, so? mate. No, no, because Steve Hansen Great coach from the point of view of what he's done with the All Blacks, but he has yeah. had the All Blacks, and he, yeah, did, he did have an amazing group of players. Again, almost like Mourinho. Absolutely, yeah. But Dave Rennie, look everywhere Dave Rennie goes, yeah. he brings success, chief success. 
You know, Chi's success, they haven't won Super Rugby before. He, he laid the foundation. He did that with no money as well. They literally had no money. And everywhere he's gone around the world now, and I think it could be quite dangerous because he's a hell of a coach going to Australia. Hell of a coach yeah, going I'm to Australia. Yeah, I'm a bit Australia. scared about that. It'll, again, very interesting. But again, I'm going to use that word. Again. again. <laughs> it's early days. We haven't seen anything from him. I would say, arguably, we wouldn't say he's a super coach yet. But if he can do something with Australia, then he's super coach, isn't he? Yeah. Now, the only other one that I'm going to chuck in there that's not currently coaching, that I think is a super rugby coach, not super rugby, yeah, he's, yeah super rugby coach, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm getting wow. at. Wow. Uh, Bob Dwyer. Super. Bob Dwyer. Bob Dwyer, when he took Australia, he took Australia and he was successful consistently they were you yeah, begin is that just one team but over a generation he 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 took that team from from not being great to being just fantastic you know arguably you could say that about um Scott Hansen so maybe you put them in that bracket but Scott Hansen Steve Hansen sorry Scott Hansen's his brother <laughs> village but yeah so Definitely for me, Warren Gatlin is a super coach, and I would put those guys either right up there with him or pretty close to yeah. him. The interesting thing is, not many of them are actually kind of, you know, at that point now. So you say Razzy, well, he's kind of hanging up the reins. Wayne Smith, he's hung up the reins. Yeah. Eddie Jones is. How is, long is he going to be? Yeah, exactly. You know, will he coach again? Oh, he just loves it, doesn't he? And then you've already only got two at the bottom that you're going to be around for a very, very long time. But up next, we are going to predict We are this week. I've actually done my matches. predictions as well. Are we predicting or are we going out we're going over the matches, mate? Oh, we're going over the matches. Your village tonight. We're going eh? over I'm <laughs> I've got my PowerPoint done, eh? And I've just got a bit excited, Tobes. <laughs> 